Alright, I hope this camera angle is a bit better than the first one. Yeah, I watched it and I, you can see the numbers. I don't know if you can still see the numbers, but I'm just going to go with it. Better lighting and I think you can get a better shot of the dice tower. This is it. The last combat after this, it's the Russian turn. Their very last turn. I'm just going to say here. And a few other things that have happened. Um, wasn't listening to music the first video. The second video I started doing, but I was I had been listening to Jamaica Souk. Uh, she's pretty extreme techno, uh, and it brought me into the the build up to be uh, like just go into that final crank out. But I was like I can't do a video and listen to her music at the same time. At right now it's just too much. Anyways, so now I'm listening to something very very different in in a way. Anyways. So this is where we've advanced to. I brought in some uh, troops here, the Russians, which were the, uh, the I, I'm not sure of the actual numbers, but they were uh, reserve Siberian infantry divisions. They had to retreat back towards here with the, uh, towards the Russian Corps. Not bad. We're doing pretty good here, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so here we go. We're going to try to take this position. Now remember, look how amazing the Russians would have looked. They would have had this entrenched all re uh, this turn, but they screwed up by moving a combat troop out of there on the very last turn. <laughs> oh. oh my god. But it's because uh, the Germans have been causing a lot of grief and I just just missed the boat. I had to, like, you know, connect the dot. Anyways, there we go. They would have had a trench all over the place. So we'll see what happens here. I think I've got a darn good chance. Things have been going well. I put, like I said, the E2. I still don't know if you can see it. Everybody's going to be entrenched, more or less, anyways, in two turns. But I just wanted to show you the significance as well as by popping in here, I think I've, it's going to be, uh, you know, cause some line of communication issues. Uh, I'm going to be in a good spot. They're not as far as I'm concerned. So I've got 31 strength points here. I've got the 9th Army HQ over here. This is 9th Army uh, direct control. All the orange dudes are. I've got 10 supply points. I've got more than enough to supply uh, 31 strength points. I need 8 to fully supply them. I'm going to waste one. Such is life. So I'm going to just... I've got to do what I've got to do otherwise I'm in trouble. Okay, so we're going to go towards here and we'll find out. I have no idea. They're uh, defending across broken terrain. So that's going to be minus one to my die, uh, the German die roll, but uh, they do not get a bonus. And I've just, I know, trust me, I'm not stupid. The Russians have been, um, they know where I've been hammering away. And uh, I think, did, uh, it doesn't matter. I, I did take... Did I do something? No, I just kept going, damn it. But I think it was, anyways, we're just going to have to go with it. I'll have to look at the backtrack. Oh, I'm going to have to do, there's been, I've got to try very hard to stay away from Ramble Land. There's so much going on, as you can imagine. I'm, I'm nearing the end of this flipping mini game. I've been playing it for over two years. And, uh, and it's about to um, explode. It, like, you have no idea. I've been taking notes like there's no tomorrow. Like I said, I'm trying to stay away from Ramble. Um... Oh, I've got focus points and sliding scales for uh, tons of shit going on in my head. It's going to be fun, but here we go. Oh my god, then we've got the Arabian conflict zone. Oof, oof. Wait until I tell you about... Oh. <laughs> ah. Oof, sweet Jesus mama. Here we... Oh yeah. Like, like I said, I'm just... I gotta get this effing dice tower. That's the problem. Even the last turn, it was driving me up the flipping tree. Even having it in my peripherals right now is driving me nuts. Oops. Come here. Come here, you. There you go. All right. Let's focus, Chris. I'll take a look at the camera again. Like I said, let's focus. It's just my mind is just going to flip in my element. I think that's pretty good. <sighs> yeah, like... I know, I've just got to find the names for the um, the British generals for um, the Arabian conflict zone. Like, remember, there's two fronts. There's the one for the uh, the offensive that's going to happen on the day of ascension towards um, 
Oh, shoots and ladders. Um, oh, shoots and ladders. Um, Palest like in Palestine, but with, with, uh, Jerusalem, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's brutal. Anyways, let's go with it. So what the hell's under... Um, now I've got to grab it. Was it 22? I have no idea. Hold on here. Yeah, and then we've got the other thing going on with... Uh, but anyway, so I wanted to make both uh, British generals uh, not as aggressive or a bit more common. I know there was one in Mesopotamia at the very beginning, beginning, but he was overridden because the politicians, you know, their eyeballs were way bigger than their military stomachs, but they didn't see it. Not to mention the Indian government was like, um, like, excuse me, man, we've got rebellions left, right, and flip and center, and you want us to do what? Oh yeah, send tons of people over, get killed, yeah, that's going to help national morale you. Anyways, let's stop. <laughs> I said, I didn't want to be a ramble. Okay, so number 22. This dude over here is going to shit some. Uh, four, five, seven. Yes! Okay, I have been spreading them thin. I only need three hits. Okay, I'll put the little seven so you can see it. Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. This is going to be some interesting flipping narrative now. How the hell are the Russians going to respond? You know what? It's weird. Like I said, I'm trying to stay away from Ramble, but it's bloody difficult. Um, this is where we're going. From here. Quinky doink. I've already um, spent a lot of supply to do it. <sighs> Sweet Jesus. There's. Um, remember. This is, this is so much consequence going on at this scale. But do you honestly believe on the bigger scale? I just look at it from a, you know, when I start looking at it from the Russian geography. Like, there's nothing here. Who gives an F? Oh, man, but the people dying and the generals trying to figure out supply issues and so on and so forth. It, it's a big thing. Okay, so 31. Here we go. I think I've done it. Haven't I? Almost. Okay. On a 31, oh my god, as long as I don't roll a 1, I'm going to do some really bad stuff. Well, that's what you get when you put in a lot of strength points, for crying out loud. Right? I certainly... Oh. Correct. Here we go. Hope you can see this. Come on, man. It's a 3. It's not the end of the universe. Well, it's a 2, so it could be. I did it. Just holy shit. I, well, no. As long as I said, like I said, as long as I don't roll <laughs> one. Do I ever listen to myself or read? No, obviously I don't. Anyways, that's it. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm getting whatever. I have. Like I said, calm down, stop rambling. Focus. I'm sorry, but you're going to be forced to retreat. You're going to be forced to retreat towards the closest, probably this guy. So I'll go towards that. You're trying to protect the real line. Sweet Jesus, eh? That's a weird one. Uh, for now, it doesn't really matter. Does that make sense? Because I'm not popping them anyways. I'm just going to put them, like, I'm not going to do it yet. I can't supply them again. So now it's a seven. They're going to take two hits because they were forced to retreat. It doesn't matter. For me, it's the fact that um, I'm going to take the position. And I've got 31 strength points there that I can flood in, you know, once the, a fresh person takes. Um, um, unfortunately, if you want to call it, loses its, um, you know, combat virginity in the sense it has, like, take proper casualties. That's the way he wants to do it. Maybe that's what, I don't know. It's a five. 
with no modifier, it's going to be, I think, probably just one hit. Yep. So the Russians are going to take one hit. Hold on here. Let's just move them out of the way. It doesn't really matter. How about I just put them like kind of like this? Doesn't really flip and matter because I'm more, um, far more interested in that. I want to get rid of the dice start driving me up the flipping tree. And let me get a uh, German thing. Uh, and I'll try to stop the video as quickly as possible so I don't um, start rambling too much because that's the end of the German turn. It's or and Central Powers turn. It's been amazing, and yet again. I have to pick the very, very first. It's like, what the hell is this number? But it's the first one I saw, so. 116. What the hell, eh? Let's, before I turn off, let's see what happen, uh, that means. I think it means a lot. I think the Germans will have to bare minimum uh, Russian sorry probably retreat from here reinforce these positions that would make sense and move the core HQ out of the way but I don't know where this guy's going you see what I mean this is pretend so he either went that way or went this way because he was connected that way or that way hmm I'll have to find out what number 22 is uh, associated with and go from there. That Leo being like, please give me food? I don't know. And now the sun's coming out. The Russians are going to need it. Like I said though, scale wise, the Russians are in good shape. Big time. Like on the big scale, macro scale. But when you get to this level, it's like, man, are they in trouble. Oh my god, do I love this. Thank you so much, everyone, everything, and that's been bringing me to this point. Um, there's like, you know what I mean? Like, just like inner wheels clicking, and like, I'm just, there's so much. Uh, I just want to find out about what's going on with the Great War, and all oh, this is just like. think children do when like they're in the playground and like you're playing you know guns and robbers and or whatever cops and robbers and all that crazy nonsense we're learning about life and you know what do you think I'm doing right now oh jeepers ah, thank you so much everyone I love this thing